Welcome to Slow Home. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. This is day 66 of the Slow Home Project and we need you to join us in our quest to evaluate the design quality of houses in nine North American cities in nine months. This week we are analyzing apartment lofts in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and today we are going to review the work that everybody has been doing over the week. We're going to look at three things. The first are some preliminary results, mm -hmm. the graph of the uh, of the uh, the various analysis on the slow home test. We're going to look at the design projects that you've all submitted and we're going to announce the slow homer of the week. So we've got a lot to do so we're going to move quickly. The uh, the first thing is to show you the graph and I think it's really, really I interesting. I haven't seen this. I'm no, really curious. No, it's, it's very interesting and, and particularly interesting when we compare it to, uh, to the Toronto results, and we see that actually we've got a slower set of homes in Dallas. Interesting. Than we do. Yes. I wouldn't have expected that. No, no, I, neither would I. There's actually 33% of the houses in, uh, in Dallas are slow in the apartment lot category compared to 18%. Really? So it's, it's double. That's right. Wow. That's right. 42% are, uh, are moderate and 34% percent there are moderate. So we have 67 percent in in Dallas that are uh, that are within that slow category yeah. and we've got 60 percent so we're a bump of seven percent. But a lot of really high scoring That's projects. right, that's right and a lot less down at that very, uh, huh. down at the very far end. Pretty cool. Very cool. So that's one of the things that we would ask that you do today and over the weekend when you have a couple of minutes is make some comments about what you think you saw when you were looking at all of those projects. Are there any trends um, ideas, uh, issues, good things, bad yeah. things. So speaking of that, the slow homer of the week is Terry. I think she deserves the nod this week because she actually did her own statistical analysis. That's right, she and did. And she looked at all the plans that we had, uh, the group had analyzed to date in apartments lofts, and she came up with the conclusion that 38% of the plans had the bed or the bathroom in the master bedroom. Isn't that Which, interesting? Very interesting. So you have to walk through the master bathroom or the, ma walk through the master bedroom to use the bathroom. So not very good for guests. And that was sort of the impetus for our design project. But I've got to commend her for actually taking the time to count them all up and to go through them. That, no, that's really that's really fabulous. It's, it's great when you have this kind of information yeah. to be able to, uh, to 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 look at that. It's it's really cool. Which also then ties into the design project. We've just it's like we planned this. Or I something. know. It's so just... <laughs> the design project was actually, and we didn't know that at the time, no. was is actually about that. So. So let's talk about those very briefly. We actually got a good response given that, that we uh, inadvertently pushed, put the, uh, the, the answer, answer. <laughs> right at the very beginning of the day, but yeah. luckily not a lot of slow homers or early risers, and so you kind of missed that. Yeah. Anyways, so we, we had this, and, and as I was analyzing the results, and it was, it was a difficult problem, wasn't it? I found it really hard to do this project. I really struggled with it. It took me a long time. Yeah, there, as I looked at it, there seemed to be three basic strategies that you saw, and it really had to do, obviously, with the bathroom. And one was to put, as you did, this is your yeah. scheme here, with the bathroom there and a little vestibule in between yeah. the two and then to have the kitchen over yeah. over here and then we've got this was actually I thought this was really useful this was Paul calling you on your on your design. well he put yeah he put the dimensions on there and he so was criticizing was it was just too, too, too tight and I agree it is tight yeah I think yeah. the dining room's a little too big too but yeah. I didn't get a chance slap to my wrist <laughs> let's move on and then we've got uh, this one which kind of addresses that uh, and I think it particularly the concern about the laundry by putting the by putting moving the laundry over and putting a little bit of milk work there. I think yeah. that's, that, that was, worked quite well. And then we've got, um, this is Mid-America Moms, where, where she's trying to deal with this entrance and, and trying to block off, distributing yeah. that, that around a little bit, which I think is, is also yeah. interesting. The yeah, those work. panhandle entries are hard to deal with. They are. A lot of people wanted to define them more spatially with millwork and stuff. Exactly. And then we've got uh, a shift now in that, uh, in that bathroom where the bathroom now moves out. Right. And uh, we're starting to see that they're actually not, they don't have that vestibule connection anymore right. and starting to put some of the, uh, the service stuff back there. Yeah. The kitchen, and of I course, in this is, gets too small, right? Yeah, it's, it's, just, too small. it's just too tight. I don't think that works particularly well. So now we move where the kitchen moves, which yeah. is an interesting set of schemes. There are actually uh, a couple people that, that looked at this, yeah. um, Harry and Margot, and I think I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, so a much bigger kitchen, and the dining room moves to the back, which That's right. in this case would work because the light, the light would still get yeah, in because it's yeah. a shallow unit. Right? I agree, and I like this uh, this this way the way in which the water heater slips behind yeah, it's that. Not bad. The one thing I don't think works particularly well is to have this open. Like yeah, because now the bedroom is not really enclosed. More of a loft. It's I, more lofty. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that that's that's so nice. This one's so small. The <laughs> pen's so small. <laughs> yeah, and then here we've got uh, we've got a very narrow sort of long bathroom long bathroom. Um, a laundry room. A, a big laundry room, which I think is taking a bit of, of space out of yeah. the master. Um, and then, of course, we don't have a dining room space. Uh, and then and then another one with, with a dining 
with a dining room with a um, single-ended kitchen that's right yeah we're critical of those a little bit but i mean here we've got some dealing with i do like that idea of having that block yeah and trying to define the entry i do i do too and that takes us then to the next set of things which is this the the kind of larger more one room place um over for the bathroom uh and then um where, where the bathroom is separate and there is either a hallway or some kind of, of connection through. Right. This one also has the living room over on the side, which I think is also kind that of That actually nice. works pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. It gives a little bit more space. Yeah. I think I might have turned the table the other way. Yeah. Uh, just a variation on that. Here we've got the laundry room inside. And then I think this is the last scheme where we've got a kind of larger room here. That yeah. that works quite nicely. I think the ba the bedroom is, it really yeah. is pushing in on the bedroom. And, you have uh, to and I think there's that. a lot of circulation space in the bathroom That's too. right, yeah. you need all of that. So I think that's about it to, to talk about for the design project. It's really interesting. It was challenging, wasn't I it? I found this one really tough. I, I really struggled with it. It took me long. At first, it looks like it would be easy, but it's hard to fit all that stuff in, particularly right. with the laundry and the water tank. Just yeah. Trying to get that well, in. there wasn't. There were no water heaters in the, in Toronto. They're all in a centralized yeah. system in apartment lofts. And here we see something different. We've got to try to deal with that. Yeah. So, well, that's it for the first week of Dallas. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I know that we have. It's been really interesting. I appreciate the uh, the gusto with which everybody came back from yes. the break. So we've got two more weeks of work, and then we're going to take another week off before we move on to the next city. So have a good weekend, everybody, and we'll see you Monday. Townhouse Land. Bye.